My specialty is psychiatry, and one of the things that I've been thrilled to see on our campus and I think at DO campuses around the, the nation is more and more students are pursuing psychiatry. Now, it might seem a little bit unusual for such a hands-on field, such as osteopathic medicine, to be pursuing something that is traditionally considered hands-off, like psychiatry. In my mind, I actually think psychiatry is one of the most osteopathic disciplines, because from the very first day, we're considering how mind, how body, how spirit, how a patient's socioeconomic status and their setting, how all these things influence their health and their health outcomes. I think the training at CHSUCOM and in our osteopathic medical schools helps to prepare students, especially for the fields of mental health, because we spend so much time thinking about where a patient's been, how they got to where they are with their health or their disease processes, and also the many tools that we have in our training to be able to help them. As an osteopathic physician and a psychiatrist, sometimes I feel almost like we have superpowers. In our training to become osteopathic physicians, we learn to look at a whole person. We look at their autonomic nervous system, and we learn, for example, for a patient with anxiety, we learn about how their sympathetics and parasympathetics may be unbalanced. And I, as an osteopathic physician, I have additional tools to be able to help the patient address those concerns beyond just the medication or psychotherapy that you'd expect in any psychiatrist's office.